A lot of people are like me and, and unfortunately, wow, I can't speak today, and unfortunately are stuck wearing glasses all the time. I have a lot of people reach out to me and ask how they can make their eyes pop while wearing glasses and here is my solution for you. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel before we get started. Subscribing to my channel lets me know that you like my videos and encourages me to continue to create this content. So if you could give me a thumbs up down below and a subscribe, I would absolutely love that. And I'll give you a few seconds to find that subscribe button. And a few more. It's, it's right down there. It's that big red button that says subscribe. Okay, now that we got the things out of the way that I wanted to get out of the way, let's go ahead and make my eyes pop behind these glasses. So first off, let's take some glasses off. We're going to ignore my hair. My hair's a hot mess. I need to style it. Okay, okay. So first things first is your eyebrows are what's framing your eye. And with some glasses, not so much with my glasses here, but you can still see them. With some glasses, you can see the eyebrows a lot more um, than you can with mine. With mine, they kind of blend in. But you want to make sure that your eyebrows are on fleek. I think that's the term they're using these days. But you want to make sure your eyebrows are perfect. Today, I'm just going to be using a tinted brown gel. And I'm just using this because it's simple, quick, and it's easy. However, you can definitely add in a brow pencil and use both or just one or the other to make your brows look fuller or to give your brows an arch. What I'm doing is I'm taking this tinted brow gel and the first part of my brow, I'm just going to sweep it up. I'm just gonna run it over like this. This is gonna make my brows look fuller and a little bit natural. After that, I'm gonna get some more on my brush. I'm almost out of it, as you can see, so I need to re-dip a couple times. Now, right where my arch is, I'm going to start going out to the side, just like this. And the brow gel is going to make them look fuller. It's also going to lay them perfectly. And it's just going to make them be a little bit bolder looking since it's tinting them just a little bit. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you look right now, you can see the difference. Brow gel, no brow gel. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Working that brow gel. I just recently did a video on here on how to use both the brow gel and the brow pencil. So I will link that up top here. That way you guys can check that out after this video if you are interested in that. Okay. So now that my brows are fleek or on point, like they say, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna focus on my eyes. Now this routine is very simple. You can definitely make it more complicated by adding in an eyeshadow. However, I want something that's quick and easy for me to use before work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my eyes. This is the most important step. This is what's going to make your eyes pop behind your lenses. I'm using a liquid eyeliner pen. This is a felt pen. I will link it down, be down below. It's super easy to use, super precise, and you can change the, how thick the line is depending on how much you press down. So I'm just going to do this three quarters of my eye. And that is because if I do my entire top lid, or my entire bottom lid, that's gonna close out my eyes. I don't want that. I want my eyes to look big and bold behind my lenses. So I'm just gonna do basically from the outside of my pupil when I look forward to the corner of my eye. Perfect. Now, to make my eyes really pop, what I do is I take a dark brown eyeliner pencil. Now, a pencil is different than a pen because the pen is a liquid consistency. 
That is a pen is going to be used for on top of your lid. A pencil, this is a gel pencil, this is going to be used for my waterline. I'm just going to use this in basically the white outer part of my eye, so about from here over. This is going to make my lashes look fuller and longer. I'm just going to run it right along my waterline. I have a lot of people purchase this and then they kind of struggle learning how to use it. So this is my best way of telling you. It kind of is just a learning thing, right? Makeup is like art. You're not going to be perfect your first day of kindergarten in art class. And you may not be perfect when you graduate from high school. But the more you practice, the better you get. So my best recommendation for you is open your eye and kind of just look down. Turn it right along your waterline. Keeping your eye open and if you feel the need to blink, just pull away, blink a couple times and go right back at it. And I just did it on the outer corners because that's going to give the illusion that my eyes are bigger than they really are. Now, here comes the bottom, the bottom part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nude eyeliner pencil and run this along my waterline on the bottom. To do my bottom waterline, I take my pointer finger, pull down on my under my eye area, and then just run it back and forth. Just like this. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Boom. Using a nude or a white pencil on your waterline is going to make your eyes appear bigger than they really are and cancel out any like tired eye look you have. Because I want to make my eyes a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to take that dark brown colored pencil and just do it in the outer corner on my bottom. Just like that. Boom. Now here comes my favorite part. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do my mascara. I'm, as I'm throwing things. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use my mascara. I'm using Lime Life's um, regular mascara, I guess you could say, because now they have a waterproof mascara. And I always warm it up first, but that is what helps me get the best application. Go ahead. I'm going to run this along my the bottom of my lash like the area it meets with my waterline and then I'm going to twirl up. Run it along the base of my lash, twirl up. And do that on the edge too. Now this mascara is buildable so if you want a more dramatic look you can do multiple coats of it or if you want a more natural look you can just do one coat. What I like is you can use you can go in at an angle like this and use just the point to kind of separate any hairs or you can go and use the entire side of the brush to get all the hairs. This mascara has little fibers in it to make your lashes look fuller and longer. However, you will notice sometimes it'll get a little clumpy on the brush. That's when you know that it's not warm anymore so you just want to warm it up. Sometimes I'll pop it in my bra while I'm doing my foundation but today I didn't wear any foundation so I didn't do that. Go ahead and do the other eye now. Now, to really make my eyes pop, I like to run my mascara wand over my bottom lashes. I don't re-dip my wand. I just use what's on it. That way it kind of looks more natural and it's not like a bunch of clumps down there. Boom. And there you have it. Now we're going to go ahead We're going to put my glasses on. You guys will see how much, how much of a difference it made. My eyes are definitely a lot more noticeable with a little bit of eyeliner and a little bit of mascara. Like I was saying, you can definitely jazz this up by adding like a little bit of a, a little bit of bronzer right in your crease. And then maybe a little bit of a blush or a glowy product, like um, 
Sweet Dreams. I think that's eyeshadow number one, that light pink. You could put that in the inner corner and really make your eyes pop. But this is just a simple, easy, quick look to make your eyes pop behind glasses, or if you just wanna make your eyes pop, even if you're not wearing glasses. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to throw them down below. Let me know what video, you, video, 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 video you'd like to see next, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button down there. Big red box says subscribe and white. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you on my next one.